Hello, my name is Lorena Mead, and I am a spiritual director and also a part of a local organization named SELA that offers contemplative experiences to people. I would like to take some time right now to offer a spiritual practice to you. And the goal of spiritual practices is really to reground us and to open us to God's presence and God's work in our lives. That seems especially important right now in the time and place that we're in, as there feels like there's so much uncertain and unknown and we're just in brand new territory. And yet a practice can bring us back to that place of grounding and centering and remind us of what is much bigger and beyond anything that the crisis might be presenting us with. The practice I would like to offer is called the breath prayer. It simply is, consists of two phrases that follow our breath, breathing one phrase in and breathing, breathing another phrase out. This originally was called the Jesus Prayer and is actually an ancient prayer. The original one goes like this. Breathing in, Lord Jesus, Son of God, breathing out, have mercy on me, a sinner. It's been adapted over time, and other versions have been, Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Or Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me, your beloved. Or Lord Jesus, have mercy. Or even Lord, mercy. I'd like for us to practice that together. And I'm going to invite you to follow along with me as I pray that prayer through several times. You're welcome to close your eyes if you'd like. You're welcome to just pray it silently or out loud, whatever you're most comfortable with. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me, your beloved. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, your beloved. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, your beloved. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, your beloved. Now I'd like to lead you in creating your own breath prayer. And to do that, first of all, I'm gonna ask you to identify a name that you'd like to use to refer to God. It could be God, or Jesus, or Lord, Creator, Holy One, whatever most resonates with you right now. Once you've done that, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and I'm going to lead you through a process of identifying what that second phrase might be for you. So first of all, with your eyes closed, I just want you to feel the place that you are sitting. Feel the chair or the floor beneath you. Feel what your back might be leaning up against. Be aware of your arms and your hands. Travel down your body to your feet. Feel them firmly planted on the ground. Become aware of your breathing as you naturally breathe in and out and in and out and in and out. Now I want you to imagine God sitting in front of you, looking you deeply in your eyes and tenderly asking you, what is it you need right now? What would your response be?
Once you have your response, I'll invite you to open your eyes again. And now we create the breath prayer by putting together the name that you chose to refer to God along with the need that you expressed. So for example, it could be, Holy One, give me your peace. Jesus, show me your love. So I'll give you another moment to put that prayer together for yourself. And then I'm going to give you some time to practice it. So again, the first phrase you say as you breathe in, the second phrase you say as you breathe out. So we'll just sit in a few moments of silence and let you practice your own breath prayer. Amen. The breath prayer can be used in several different ways. It can be something you just pray as you go throughout the day, just letting it be come as natural as your breath with you. Sometimes when our minds wander, it's a good way to bring ourselves back to a place of centering and calm. It can also be used for more of an intentional meditation centering time. If you're setting some time aside and just sitting still and wanting to still your heart and mind and soul. It can be prayed multiple times for as long as you want. Sometimes it even leads people into a deeper space of centering prayer where there's a real intention of quieting your mind and just opening your heart to God's presence. I hope that this resonated with you and that um, Something was given to you today that you can take with you and be blessed with in the days and weeks to come as we find ways, um, both in the midst of this crisis, but even beyond, to become aware of what ourselves and to find ways to draw ourselves in and center ourselves in the presence of God. Take care.